In-depth coverage of campaign 2016 continues now with Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming. Joe, after, uh, what, two years, uh, we are finally here. Candidates taking uh, nothing for granted. No. They've hit at least four states uh, each. Mm -hmm. What do you expect voter turnout to be tomorrow? I expect a good voter turnout nationally. I expect here in Rhode Island a very good voter turnout. Rhode Island traditionally votes very well in the presidential election. I expect somewhere between 60 and 65 percent of the voters in Rhode Island voting tomorrow. Just in Massachusetts, I think they're expecting about three million tomorrow. Right. A million uh, did it early. Voted, uh, the early voting went over very well in Massachusetts. I would not be surprised here in Rhode Island. Take a really close look at that for the 2018 election. Because, Mike, if you remember in 2012, we had quite long lines at the polls here, and people were complaining. And now we have another presidential election. If we have lines tomorrow, I think people will move towards the early voting. And you're going to see that across the country, too? Absolutely. Most of the states already have their early voting. We're talking like 50 million votes cast by tomorrow the same for the early voting. All right, so the uh, issues. She tried to talk the economy. He tried to talk immigration and defense. It got lost uh, the issue, several months ago. This election was very different. The issues were not the main thing. It was Hillary Clinton's honesty. It was Donald Trump with women. That's what the voters are remembering. Most people probably don't even remember what their positions were on the economy and things like that. They're all talking about Donald Trump dealing with females and Hillary Clinton dealing with her emails. Magic number Joe is seven, two, 270. She's, right. She's almost there. It's about 123 right. up for grabs, right? It's a very narrow path for Donald Trump tomorrow. He has to win all the swing states and he has to win one of the blue states. That's why we see him in Michigan. We see him in uh, Minnesota. He has to break into one of those states. If she wins any one of the swing states right now, Donald Trump's door is basically closed. All right, let's take it closer to home. If the Democrats at least tie the Senate right. and a Democrat, Hillary Clinton, becomes president, right. Jack Reed could be head of the Armed Services Committee. Yes. First major appointment since Claiborne, Claiborne Powell. Powell. When Claiborne Powell was chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee in the Senate, uh, Jack Reed's been there for many years now. His seniority gets him right up in the top. He has a very good chance he would be the chairman of this committee if the Democrats take control. That's very iffy. There's a lot of very close Senate races that will probably go late into the night, but Rhode Islanders could have a, a, a chairman of one of the Senate committees. And real quickly, the House, do you see the Republicans still holding I on to that? I would see the Republicans still holding on to the House. I think the Democrats should pick up some seats in the House tomorrow, but not enough to topple uh, the Republicans. They will still control the House more than likely. And Paul Ryan says that if he wins, he wants to run again. Yes, he does. Again, with the Republicans, you've got that very, very conservative group of Republicans, Tea Party. You never know what they're going to do sometime. Paul Ryan will be the favorite to be the speaker, but you never know what's going to happen. All right, Joe Fleming, thank you very much.